welcome to the pilot episode of Photodities. In this episode, we'll be covering secondary lenses, also known as focal lenses. This is a series where we explore weird, forgotten film formats, cameras and lenses, and photographic accessories from the past. In this episode, we're going to be covering a focal lenses, which are lenses that in themselves are an imaging system, an optical system. So you look for this, this is a wide angle. You get a wide angle. I'll explain how these work in a minute. It's only, here's uh, something I found at a thrift shop a few years ago. Digital binoculars camera, yes. Cleaning cloth, a random strap. Yeah, this is one you mount to your phone. You've probably seen one of these before. Here it is. Quite a nice recreation of a lens. What this is, is a um, basically a miniature refracting telescope, or maybe a Caprarian telescope. So it's uh, f1.18 times. Yeah, we'll be the judge of that. You see, can't really see anything because it's too close. It's manual focus, we get a focus win, and we get a focus scale, which is quite nice. Um, I don't think you can buy these anymore though, but there's plenty on Amazon. Some claim they even go up to 30 times, which is quite impressive. Not a zoom lens. You can just hold this up to your eye and use it as a monocular because that's what it basically is. This is um, a focal imaging. So you put in an optical system that has an objective and an eyepiece up to your camera already. You cannot use this in place of an lens. You see, I tried to project an image of mine height there. It's not working because this is not an lens it produces a virtual image not a real image so here's the thing that um you use to mount it to you, your phone probably an iphone this is a few years old and yes it is manual focus as i've said it's, i can't get it to mount but it's a bayonet type thing so uh, there's that i've not for the lens cap but the optics are still in good condition this is uh so it's a bit newer just squares to here. This is one of those fish eye lenses or wide angle lenses you see for phones. Yeah, this is also an afocal system. Uh, you've got like a diverging meniscus element there and a converging lens there. You look for it. If the camera's focused to infinity, you get. There you go, you see that. My computer monitor. And finally. Just put this over there and put all that back in there. Let's have that over there. Uh, we've got a big version that's meant to screw onto a DSLR lens. Here we are, and it says that's the sort of thing, that's the sort of pictures you can get with this lens. This sort of, um, well, this, this thing sort of works as like, have you, if, if you've ever heard of a tennis side converter, this is what it is. It goes on the front of the lens. This here is an Opteca sort of thing. Again, another thrift store find. Yes, I get most of our photographic equipment from thrift shops. Take the uh, lens cap off. Uh, lovely big element there and the world's crappiest lens. Yeah. Just get the uh, cap off. This is intended to be screwed into um, the filtering of a DSLR lens like this. Uh, it sort of doesn't fit because I think it's too small, yeah, on the Canon 18 to 55. But this has got another, you see, it uh, also gives you a nice wide angle. This has got another feature. If you unscrew this, you now get, well, a diopter or close up filter for macro images. It basically works the same as, like, a, um, well, reading glasses or a monocle. You see in there your nice big meniscus element. So how these work is, well it's simple, Conomated night goes in here, Conomated night comes out here. Yeah the mode dial on my camera's going now, my night's flickering so um, I'm just going to switch it off. 
There you go. Yeah, I can't trust that Chinese win that I bought. Anyway, Connor Mate Night goes in here. Connor Mate Night comes out here. Doesn't happen in a normal lens. Uh, what you get is young Connor Mate Night, which you can project with, but you can't see it with another lens. This is designed to be an a focal system, which is what binoculars or even part of a zoom lens is. Uh, sorry about the lack of nothing. Is lens. Oh man, I'm really gonna have to edit this together. Um, so yeah, anyway, here's uh, all three of these wacky ninja that this works the same as that except smaller and you can't unscrew it for a macro let's get the night back on now uh, i would show you pictures but there's been a national lockdown order in my country due to coronavirus so i can't do that and i haven't got anything to tell anyone that i'm essential so i'm going to splice in some images i took with this lens attached to my galaxy note 4 Back in summer of 2019, some architecture stuff, you see, the image quality is not great, it's got like a stigmatism and coma and stuff like that, and it doesn't project a rectilinear image, which isn't very good for architecture, but the landscape looks uh, pretty decent. This, I swear I remember taking lots of pictures with it, but I can't find them. I think they're all on my iPhone and I lost the charging cable for that because as I seem to remember that's the only phone this should fit on and as for this never used it never ever found an opportunity to use this um well I mostly did sports before this pandemic so I've never used this which is the same I tried the macro thing on it wasn't very good so I deleted all the pictures I do ha I did have test pictures but my SD card died and I lost them all which is just great but it's a uh, nice thing at high definition and things like that it's got a spherical even though it's actually meniscus I think got a funny story about this lens actually I was once photographing a sports match from like, the Starphony area and they had a security guard up there too and one day he forgot his binoculars oh blimey they're not flickering again yeah one day he forgot his binoculars so um probably should plug it into a wall not the 5 volt output on my USB hub 5 volt track. one day he forgot his binoculars so um he asked me photographer if there was anything I had and I said here you go have to get this he put it up to his eye thinking he was going to get a nice uh, big view and all he got was this fish eye thing <laughs> it was just so funny I wish I filmed it because um, it will probably make for a viral hit on here but I, I'll quickly attach it to that camera over there show you what it looks like and also clean up while we're at it some of the mess we've made here and here it is the camera and an 18 to 55 with um, this attached to it, yeah, it's a bit bulky. It does remind me now of a tennis side converter that yeah, this is both macro and fisheye. But I said I've not really used it and I lost all the test pictures, so I can't really show you any pictures taken on it, which is a big shame, really. And I've also got to investigate why the uh, my new light is flickering. There you are, bright is running off the 5 volt 2 amp output of my um, powered USB hub, so it's getting power from the wall, but it's just flickering, so uh, I've got to figure that out. Feel free to post your suggestions in the comments. Thanks for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed it and. Uh, Oh blimey, I'm unscrewing the one bit off of it. I got to put all this stuff away now. I dragged this out of my gear bag for sports, which meant everything was really dusty. And yeah, since I hadn't used it from before the pandemic, and I've got to put these away too. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this uh, pilot episode of Photodities on the weirdness that is the secondary afocal lenses. Um, and one last note is that a focal photography isn't bad if you use a good secondary lens, a good primary lens. It can be really nice, really sharp without having to buy an expensive non focus or telephoto lens. Just don't use cheap secondary or primary lenses for that matter. I've seen many good digiscoping pictures as well as astrophotography pictures taken straight through the eyepiece of a telescope. Just use good gear. It's even this, um, Opteca fisheye lens suffers from some uh, problems as you remember. That phone lens, don't buy one of those, they're absolute rubbish.